Yo, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Middle Tennessee State Blue Raiders Dynasty here in NCAA Football 14. You see some of those records here coming in and Mid-Tennessee State is 2-1 and one here to start the season, but... It all starts now, the real season, the conference play here. Conference USA against the toughest team in the Conference USA, I believe, which is Florida Atlantic. So let's get this thing started against Lane Kiffin, who is still the coach in this game, uh, at Florida Atlantic and a team that I don't think the rosters were completely updated because they still have Devin Singletary. So we'll have to see how we can do against him, but let's start this game out with a nice pass on second and seven. O'Hara to Jaron Pierce for a 16-yard completion in the first down. On first and 10, we're going to give it to Mobley. Chat and Mobley, 7-yard rush. A good game. It's third and four. O'Hara dropping back. Pressure's coming in his face. Throws over the middle, and he's going to find his receiver, Ty Lee, for a 7-yard pickup. First and 10 now, 6 minutes to go. O'Hara lobbing it right side and intercepted by Lewis on the right side. Sideline gets 2 feet in bounds, and O'Hara... Throws his first pick, but look at this play. This is what can be so frustrating with O'Hare at QB, and I guess just offense in general. That should be, it should lead him right there all the way down the field for probably a touchdown, at least a catch at about the 20 yard line. Instead, it's way underthrown and intercepted. So here comes this Florida Atlantic dangerous offense built with a ton of speed and athleticism. And it starts with Robinson, the QB, as well as Singletary, the halfback. And here's Robinson using that speed right now, picking up a couple of blocks, stiff-arming stiff a man for a 13-yard rush. It's second and six now. Robinson dropping back. Pressure comes. He breaks off of one. He stiff-arms through another and picks up a gain of one or two yards. A third and four here. Can the defense get off the field to halfback? Draw to Singletary. He's stiff arming his way forward, and they're not going to give him the first. Fourth and inches. Fort Atlantis going for it. Singletary met in the backfield and taken down for a loss. The defense comes through with a big stop and gives the offense the ball back. Can the offense take advantage, though? It's second and eight now. Four minutes to go. It's Mobley up the middle. A nice game at seven or eight there. Third and one. It's going to be O'Hara. Keeping it on the read option, and Florida Atlantic played it perfectly. James Pierre with the tackle for a loss, and we have to punt it away. So it's Devil Sing Devin Singletary on first down with a two-yard rush to give them a little bit of room after a nice punt. Got him inside the five. It's second and eight, lobbing it right side before the pressure came, and that's thrown away. Third and eight. Robinson dropping back shotgun again. No pressure this time. He throws it right side. He throws it away again. Defense forces a three now and should give the offense pretty good field position inside Florida Atlantic territory. So second and nine, we try to throw a screen pass here to Ty Lee. He picks up two, sets up a big third and seven. O'Hara dropping back, checks it down to Mobley. Mobley's tackled after a short gain at about the 35, 34 yard line. Fourth and three, we're going fourth a minute and a half in the first. O'Hara throwing it left side. He finds his receiver Dobson, but well short of the first down marker. And this offense has failed to capitalize on some key opportunities when we've had the chance here in the first quarter. Let's see if that comes back to bite him. Robinson with the 10-yard rush sets up a first and 10 here from about the 40. Throwing left side, he finds his receiver right. Right is very quick. Willie Wright, 13-yard catch. Now first and 10, Robinson dropping back, looking, throwing it left side deep, and he finds his receiver, Willie Wright, down the sideline. 44-yard touchdown reception. Just burn the cornerback on the left side. And an easy pitching catch. The corner just never really turned his head here on the left side. And Willie Wright was able to catch that at the 20. And his speed, he's scoring that every single time. So, Florida Atlantic's up 7 0. A minute to go here in the first quarter. A second and seven here for O'Hara. Has a Wyndham going in motion. He pitches this one to Mobley on the right side. Runs through a couple of tacklers. Six yard gain. Sets up a third and one. Can, can, we, can we convert these third and shorts? Mobley tries to cut it up field and he does just enough to get the first as we head into the second quarter. So second and ten. A quick throw outside to the left. It's Ty Lee. 15 yard reception. A few catches here early for Ty Lee. Trying to get him more involved. It's first and ten. It's Mobley. A nice run once again. A gain of eight. The run game is working pretty well here. If we can continue to get these kind of looks, we'll be thriving all day long there's an eight yard rush right there second and ten now to Mobley again this time he's stuffed at the line of scrimmage sets up a third and long third and ten from the shotgun it's going to be O'Hara dropping back looking times running out he throws right side and it falls incomplete and maybe luckily because that was well covered and could have been picked we're going to go for the field goal here haven't really attempted one of this distance all year long and it is missed just left 
These sliders actually make field goal kicking kind of difficult. And if you saw the meter when I used it, I got it just a little bit to the left. Not sure if that goes in, if I get it spot on anyway, because it was a little short. But I definitely more of a chance. And Devin Singletary is going to take right advantage of that missed field goal and take this all the way to the crib. Touchdown, Devin Singletary. One play after the missed field goal, and that's the type of offense and firepower for Atlanta can bring out. Huge touchdown run by Devin Singletary, and it's 14 to nothing, and the offense is in danger. And so is Middle Tennessee State needing a big drive right here. No, Harris trying to try to get that for the team. It's a seven yard rush there against up third and one. And so O'Hara dropping back. Pressure comes right away, not even blocked, not even touched. Two guys in his face. And we have to punt again. This is getting this is getting close to a blowout here as the first play back once again. Willie right down the left sideline. Again, just a simple streak route. He takes it 60 yards. And Robinson has four completions for 130 yards. And three of those are to Willie Wright. So 21 nothing, second and nine. O'Hara sacked for a loss of eleven. Things are just getting ugly here it's third and 20 O'Hara dropping back throws over the middle probably should have been picked off instead it's incomplete and we're punting once again Robinson this offense have a chance to make this a four possession game in the first half and it's going to start out really well on a 16 yard completion of the Kyle Davis now first and 10 man in motion can the defense at least hold him to a field goal get some sort of momentum not going to happen here Devin Singletary at the 13 yard rush down inside the 15 it's first and 10 now Robinson keeps this one on the read option a lot of room on the left side he's going to take this inside the five for eight yard gain second and two now Robinson dropping back looking over the middle and touchdown Javon Durante four yard touchdown reception and all of a sudden it's 28 nothing with three minutes to go here in the first half so obviously a lot of time still to go for this team to come back, but a lot of time for this to get even worse than it already is. Eight-yard rush by O'Hara. It's going to be second and two, and that's dropped. Third and two. Now the read option. Going to hand this one off to Mobley. Mobley's going to get the first down and more. Good run right there from Chat and Mobley. An 11-yard rush. It's O'Hara. First and 10. He's dropping back. He's going to look left side as the pressure comes. He finds his receiver, Wyndham. Wyndham with an 18-yard reception and the first down. So first and 10 here. O'Hara's going to drop back. Pressure comes right away again. Again, untouched. The left guard is getting no sort of pass blocking there. Against the D tackle. Third, second and 20. We do find C.J. Windham a nice completion there for a gain of 14. Now third and six. 142 to go here in the first half. It's O'Hara dropping back throwing left side. And thankfully, the safety didn't jump that one and pick it off. Instead, it's a completion of 19 yards. Sets up a second and eight with 124 to go. Man in motion once again. Going to fake it to him. Going to keep it with O'Hara. He's going to pitch this one to Mobley. Mobley's got some room on the right side. He's going to pick up another nice gain of four here. It's going to set up a third and short. Third and four. O'Hara dropping back. Looking. Finds the backup running back. Terrence West. Terrell West over the middle. Nine-yard reception. 30 seconds to go. First and goal. O'Hara. Pressure comes again. Throws left side. And Pierce gets that one batted out of his hands. Could have been a touchdown. Second and goal over the middle again. This time, C.J. Wyndham will secure that one. And we get on the board before half. It's 28-7. Not a great first half from this defense whatsoever. Too many big plays. But it really came off some missed opportunities by the offense throughout the whole entire first quarter. We had about three or four opportunities to really take control of this game and really get ahead on Florida Atlantic. But instead, couldn't capitalize. All it took was a big Devin Singletary run and two big receptions by Willie Wright. Obviously, time of possession there. We have 12-22 of it, and Florida Atlantic only has 338. But look at the yards. You could tell this isn't in the favor of the Blue Raiders. So it's 28-7 here to start the second half. Can the defense come out firing? We have to wait and see if the offense can get some more going on the other side of the ball. Five-yard reception on first down. Now second and five. It's Singletary at the middle. Just runs right through a tackler like he wasn't even there. Picks up 10 yards in the first down. Now first and 10. Going to run a draw play to Singletary here. He's going to pick up another nice gain. He's having himself a good day. Eight-yard rush. Second and two now. Give him to Singletary once again. Defender's there this time, but he stiff arms his way through him and picks up a gain of six. First and 10, Robinson dropping back over the middle, finds his receiver Durante for a six-yard reception. Third and three now, Robinson on speed option, going to break off one tackler, going to pitch this one to White Jr. White Jr. gets around the outside, and it doesn't matter who's in the backfield this time. It's Kareth White Jr., 23 yards and a touchdown. So first and 10 here, the offense just trying to get some momentum, if anything, heading into the next week and the rest of the season. 
shown that they can compete better than they have so far because the offense is probably not getting a whole lot of stops today. Mobley, a 10-yard rush right there. Now second and inches, going to give it right back to Mobley. He's going to fight forward, picks up a yard, but gets the first. It's first and 10 now. It's O'Hara in the pistol, dropping back over the middle. It's Wyndham, who's having himself a pretty good day so far. He's got the lone score on the day for this offense. It's third and six now. Mobley in motion, dropping back as O'Hara, looking right side. He finds his receiver, Lee, who came back for it and only picks up four. Sets up a fourth and two offense. Obviously going to go for it. This time a really good pullback there by O'Hara. He's going to pick up a big gain down near the 20-yard line. Sets up a first and 10 here from near the red zone. O'Hara's going to keep it once again. They're letting him run a little bit here. He picks up seven down inside the 15. Second and three now. It's O'Hara. Looking at the read option, but look at those blocks on that play. Loses three. Everybody got through there. It's third and six now. Firing over the middle, and Zach Dobson with a nice 12-yard reception, so the drive keeps on going. First and goal, man in motion, faking it to him, keeping it with Dobson, who's pitching it to Mobley. Mobley with some room, and he's going to run through the corner on the right side, and Mobley finds the end zone fire five-yard touchdown run. So this offense, not done quite yet, a good, really good drive there by the offense, rushing and passing, had a pretty good drive to make it 35-14. But the Canada defense get a stop. It's been pretty difficult all day long. Second and five, Robinson's going to keep the option. Picks up seven. At second and ten now, Singletary left side. Trying to bounce it to the outside. Breaks off a couple of tacklers, but pushed out of bounds after a gain of six. Third and four now, two minutes to play in the third quarter. It's Robinson keeping it on the option. Pitches it to Brian at the last second, and that's a big first down for Florida Atlantic. Almost 200 yards rushing on the day. That's been the key to success so far and a couple of other big plays through the air. There's a seven-yard catch in second and three. Robinson going to keep it. He's going to run. He's going to stiff arm his way forward, and that will put them at the 200-yard mark on the day rushing. So it's second and eight. Robinson dropping back in our corner, ran over the play, and then gets ran over. Instead of picking it off, turns into a six-yard recep 16-yard reception. So it's White Jr. on the halfback draw here inside the red zone. He's going to pick up six. It's second and four. Robinson dropping back right side. Willie Wright once again. No surprise there. He is known for sniffing the end zone, as we can tell. It's first and goal now, and it's a bad pitch, and it's recovered by Smith, the linebacker, and the defense forces a turnover. Their first stop in a real long time. But it comes at a really good opportunity here. When they were goal to go, the defense comes through on the bad pitch. So can the offense make this a little interesting? It's a good start finding C.J. Windham over the middle. 20 seconds to go in the third quarter, down 21. What can we make happen here? It's first and 10. A swing screen right there. It works out pretty well for a gain of five. Third and five, though. Got to have this first down. It's O'Hara. Dropping back, looking, rob, lobbing right side. Wyndham drops a big one right there. And that's incomplete. We're going for it, though. Fourth and five. Need this one. Looking. O'Hara steps up in the pocket, gets away from a little bit of pressure. He's just going to take off with it and gets the first down. A great pocket presence there by Asher O'Hara. At second and nine now, it's going to be O'Hare. Find a window over the middle. Dropped one a little bit ago. Picks up six here. It's third and two. O'Hare trying to get the first, and he's going to be taken down short. It's fourth and inches. Going for it, though. O'Hara running, picking up the first. Keeping the drive alive. Six minutes to go. It's second and seven. Not worried about the clock so much because we just need points for sure, and we haven't been able to get a whole lot of them here today. It's third and two. O'Hara dropping back, looking Looking, throws left side in a tight window, and that's incomplete. It's going to set up a fourth and two. Can they get the first here? Going to get this one to Mobley. Mobley takes up the middle. He picks up the first down rather easily. Seven-yard rush. It's first and ten. O'Hara looking. Had a man. He throws over the middle. He had a man on the right side in the sideline. Instead, forces it over the middle on the post route, trying to make a play with the pressure in his face. That's not going to work. A second pick for Shelton Lewis. He had one earlier, and he gets a second here. That just about seals the game. As they're able to get the picks, but we can't pick off that screenplay where we're throwing the ball basically to us. So it sets up a third and seven. Can the defense get a stop? It's Singletary breaking off one tackle. He's going to be stopped short. Time, though, is really not on our side as we're still down 21 with three and a half to play here. O'Hara escaping out of the pocket, finds his receiver Jaron Pierce for a 21-yard pickup. So the offense is trying to get some momentum here going, just making anything happen that they can. But first and 10, O'Hara sack for a loss of eight. Second and 10 now, looking over the middle, going to find Wyndham. Nope, he drops it. 
third and 18 under three to play. O'Hara looking once again, looking, lobs it right side. This time it's caught by Dobson, so we pick up a gain of 10. So it's up a manageable fourth and eight. Looking, pressure is coming. This is going to be difficult for O'Hara. He's going to try to throw at the last second, and that's incomplete. And he's hurt to end the game. He cannot go a game without getting hurt. And to finish this one, he's going to be hurt, and we'll have to find out more about his injury at the start of the next episode. But <clears throat> this one was not pretty from about a minute left in the first quarter throughout the rest of the game. Didn't end up terribly, lost 35-14, but the defense wasn't able to get any stops throughout that middle portion of the game. <clears throat> other than like the beginning of the game, I guess the first five to six minutes, they played pretty well and the offense just couldn't come through for the defense, got them on the field quite a bit. And then obviously Singletary had a big 67 yard touchdown run. Willie Wright had a couple of huge touchdowns for them, ended up with seven catches, 133 yards and two scores. And that's the kind of the story of the game. They had big plays when we couldn't capitalize and they were able to capitalize right off those mistakes. So 35-14 against probably the best team in the conference, USA. We have another non-conference game next week against BYU. If you haven't checked out the coaching carousel series on the channel, make sure you do that and let me know what you think of that series. But we'll be back playing at 0-4 BYU to try to improve our record to 3-2. Thank you guys for joining me. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.